now we are going to learn step by steps different types of uh, concentrator first one will be the parabolic concentrator or reflector type in this first one it has that parabolic structure we have already seen in the uh, in the previous slide that is like it seems to be like a dish type and it is the reflector type why it is reflector type light will pass here and focused to this focal point here we will connect the pv system so so that's why light is passing and reflecting towards the focal point that's why this is called as reflector type it but what is the main drawback of this is based on the movement of the sun we need a mechanical tracking system to to move this so that is a main drawback but this is preferable for in the low uh, small residential houses we can use this parabolic concentrator type then let us see about next one hyperboloid concentrator or reflector type in this hyperboloid trans concentrator this is also the reflector type here we can see a a dash diameter d1 b b dash diameter d2 these two are the lenses this is one big lens and this is the small lens so that this big lens a a dash it will help to improve the efficiency so why it is help to improve the efficiency we are all the light will be passes through this due to the high diameter more diameter all the light will be passes through this if we use this side surely the uh, concentration will be less since only it will focus on the small area so due to this due to this it has uh, efficiency of this uh, concentrator in this a a dash region will be high moreover automatically the hyperboloid concentrator efficiency is high since um, it is having light will fall here so due to the more space the lenses all light will passes and reflected each other and come to the focus on this bb dash in the diameter d2 so then next one will be fresnel lens concentrator in the fresnel lens concentrator is called as refractor type why it is refractor type this lens first lens lens is connected here this lens will refracted everything the light will hit here it will be refracted through this lens and passes through the focal point here we will connect one pv system and we can extract the power but if the manufacturing system is not proper in this fact this side this lens automatically the focal point will not be accurate so this is the main drawbacks of that so we should be very much careful that there is no error in the manufacturing of the facts so this is the type this is the refractor type since light is passing and transferred to the focal point not reflected the next one will be compound parabolic concentrator or otherwise we will call it as reflector type in this reflector type also there is having two parabolic focal lenses will be the light will be there light will hit you can see the right side how the lights are lights hit and reflected each other and focused on this two point focused on this two point a and b so this is called as compound parabolic concentrator advantages are it has high geometrical concentration and that narrow view, uh, narrow view will be there narrowly it will fall down to the focal point but required the good tracking system to maximize the collection of the radiation so this is the another uh, disadvantages of the compound parabolic concentrator so this is also reflector type then dielectric totally internally reflecting concentrator this is called as hybrid type why hybrid type it has refraction see the light is passing and refracted then reflected here focal point focus point will be it will be reflected by 2p2 and reflected to p3 similarly this all cases it will be reflected here so refraction and reflection will be happened so the disadvantages are disadvantages are 
only the mainly the solar all the solar rays will not be hit to this it is as it is very compact to compact with respect to other concentrator the next one will be flat high concentration um, the device so it is also hybrid type light will be passes here and reflected to this refracted then reflected to this then focused to this area so in this case uh, here only focal point so this pv panel we can connect here advantages are very much compact and high concentration since may make more areas are there but difficult to create electrical connection in this uh, and the heat sink requirement also we have to be properly arranging based on the focus is very difficult that is with respect to the concentrator so that is the main disadvantages of the flat high concentration device then last one will be quantum dot concentrator or otherwise we will we'll call it as luminescent type why it is luminescent type light will passes solar radiation there is having the quantum dots will be there so the internal reflection will be happen due to that uh, quantum dot and finally it will be hit to the pv panel so if you see this here photovoltaic cell area will be very less when compare with this geometrical concentration of the uh, these photons or geometry con uh, concentration of the quantum dots so the advantage is, is does not require any tracking system since we have more spaces once the light is passes automatically due to the quantum dot reflection will happen internal reflection will happen so the small area is sufficient for the photovoltaic cell so this are this all are about the different types of concentrator i hope you understood what are all the different types and advantages and disadvantages hi friends you understood different types of concentrator reflection type refraction type and hybrid type i hope this topic is understandable please subscribe this channel in the next class we are going to learn about pv cell how it will work and how the operation will be wish you all the best thank you